What's going on guys? So we are on another road trip in our 2023 GMC Denali 1500 with the three liter LZO diesel engine. And this thing is still just blowing me away with its fuel economy. We've just left. We have 8.7 miles on the trip meter currently. Um, I filled up to a complete full tank and we're currently in town averaging 31.3 miles per gallon. Now, the purpose of today's test is to see the very best mileage I can get out of this truck um, after filling it up. I have the auto engine on off feature turned on right now, so it'll shut the engine off when I come to a stop most of the time. The truck currently has 9,218 miles on it. So uh, yeah, we've been putting a good amount of miles on this truck in the last four and a half, five months of ownership. And this is a, a good representation of what I think people can expect if they have this truck, especially if they live in warmer climates, right? I don't live up in the north and I don't have, you know, hard snowing winters and, you know, we're not dealing with incredibly high elevation. So this is probably a pretty accurate uh, kind of example of what a, a person might get in this type of truck if they live in the southern half of the U.S. But we're going to be on the road for a while today. Uh, this entire trip is probably going to be close to, let's just say, 400 miles uh, by the time everything is said and done and I return this evening. But we're going to see what type of fuel economy we can get out of this truck if I really, really try to get the best possible fuel economy out of it. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. Hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, so something I wanted to show you um, before we get too far along in this trip is what the current range is. Right now it says 582 miles left or remaining on this tank. Uh, we have 10.1 miles on the trip meter and it's gonna be really interesting to see that range creep up. And it's gonna be really interesting to see how high that range gets uh, as we get further along in this trip because the range right there is gonna slowly creep up uh, as we're on a longer trip that's on a highway as the fuel economy increases. So I'll try to keep showing you that as it as it bumps up, but right now it says we have 582 miles to this tank. And believe it or not, uh, you know, that's a pretty good range for any vehicle, but it's gonna get much, much higher than that as we get further along. And they may not actually creep up, but it probably won't go down. So that's gonna be the big differentiation here is that Oh, there you go, 584. It's gonna creep up. I just don't know how high it'll creep up until it kind of until it kind of peaks and stays there until it actually starts coming back down. So it's gonna be really interesting to see this. All right, so quick update. Just like I kind of imagined, the range is creeping up. We're at 590 miles worth of range, 32 miles on the trip meter. The fuel economy numbers drop down a little bit as we're in the wind now. 28.4 miles per gallon. Still really, really good. I mean, the, the reality of a truck like this is if you don't need a three quarter ton or higher truck and you're looking for a pickup truck as an everyday vehicle and you don't plan on towing incredibly heavy, let's say maybe a 6,000 pound travel trailer, then you have the perfect truck here. This is such a great vehicle. And with the fuel economy that this gets, and the fact that diesel fuel prices have actually dropped quite a bit, um, it makes a lot of sense to look at a vehicle like this. Because, you know, <laughs> if you can maintain 28.3 miles per gallon on a truck like this, again, you compare this to most pickup trucks, you're probably at least eight miles per gallon greater in terms of overall fuel economy than you're gonna get in most half-ton trucks. And that's really a lot to be said. I mean, if you're on the fence about a truck like this, as long as you can get over the seats being a little firmer, we've kind of resolved that by putting a pad on the bottom and it helps tremendously. But that said though, as long as you can get over that, you can get a truck loaded with tech with amazing, amazing fuel economy. And that that's what a lot of people are looking for. Anyways, we're still gonna be on the road for quite a while and uh, we'll see what the fuel economy numbers look like when we get closer to our destination. Okay, so quick update, and I'm approaching some pretty crazy fog ahead. So we have 62.4 miles on this trip. Fuel economy has increased to 30 miles per gallon. Range is 602 miles, so it's gone up significantly, uh, while at the same time the trip meter is going up, which means that 
the uh, the range I'm getting on this tank is is increasing because the fuel economy is increasing on this trip. Yeah, about 30 miles per gallon so far. Again, 62.9 miles on this trip so far. 602 miles left on my tank, and I think that number is just going to keep going up. We just entered into some pretty dense fog as well, so. We're gonna continue driving and I'll come back with an update when we get a bit closer. So quick update, we are getting an average of 27.8 miles per gallon. We've traveled 120.6 miles, and we have a range of 547 miles left on this tank. So we're what, 670 miles of overall travel range. So yeah, this truck is still incredibly impressive in terms of fuel economy. And to be honest with you, you know, it's kind of one of those vehicles that if you look at replacing it with something like for instance, when we get done with this after a year, what can we replace this with that takes fuel, not an electric vehicle, but that takes fuel that will be able to rival this? That's the challenge. And you know, if we go to a three quarter ton truck as our, our next review vehicle, are we gonna have a, you know, a truck that gets 10, 12 miles per gallon when you're towing maybe 14, 15 miles per gallon on the highway, when right now in this half ton truck, we're getting, you know, almost 30 miles per gallon on, on several of these longer trips. 27.7 miles per gallon as it stands right now. It's uh, it's pretty insane the type of fuel economy this truck gets. And again, the, the crazy part about this is, is you're in a half ton truck. It's not like you're in an economy vehicle, but you're getting you know pretty dang good numbers. This is about what my Ford Fusion used to get. So still incredibly impressed with the fuel economy in this truck. Um, we still have probably another 20 miles till we get to our destination but it's going to be really interesting you know because now we're going to be entering city driving and as we drive around the city we're going to see how this fuel economy gets impacted and then once I get back I'll give you guys a quick recap on the trip and we'll see where we're currently at and you know kind of see what the overall fuel economy for this trip is but yep been very very pleased with this truck in terms of just about every aspect of it, um, again, aside from the one that I always harp on, which is the uh, the seat comfort. That said, though, we are uh, still on the road. We have quite a few more miles to travel before this trip is over with, and I will give you guys a report whenever we uh, we get back. Okay, so I am 230.7 miles into this trip. Average fuel economy, 27.3 miles per gallon. Average speed, 58.7 miles per hour. Remaining range, 447 miles, which means I am uh, nearly at 700 miles total range if everything kind of holds true to how it's going so far. That is absolutely insane. So fuel economy on the truck, I think the numbers have actually dropped off a little bit. I know that a lot of folks say you have to have a certain number of miles on the vehicle before you start experiencing optimal fuel economy. I think 9,441 miles is more than enough to, uh, to hopefully have experienced that by now. But yeah, what I'm seeing right now, 28.5 overall average, 27.3 for the trip, still is not bad. And to get, you know, roughly 700, 680 miles to a tank, is also not bad, so that's pretty awesome. Anyways, uh, we're in two-wheel drive. I'm gonna make a quick pit stop, and we'll continue the trip back, and then I'll give you a recap of everything, and uh, we'll wrap it up. Okay, so we're back. We're at 308.4 miles on the trip, 27.1 miles per gallon, 57.1 average miles per hour, 26.4 is the average fuel economy of the truck, 
in the range remaining 365 miles after I just traveled 308 miles. That's insane. I mean, that's really insane. That's that's crazy good fuel economy for a truck that has like a 23-gallon fuel tank. And now that diesel fuel is actually less expensive in many cases than even the lowest cost regular fuel, you, you can't really say that, you know, the cost of owning a diesel is is more expensive anymore. So this is pretty crazy. And, you know, it, it's, it's crazy at 9,518 miles on the truck um, that I'm getting this kind of fuel economy, even though I was reporting better fuel economy in the very first long trip I took. I was up in the 32, 32 and a half mile per gallon range. Um, I didn't get above 28 on the highway this time, which is kind of interesting. So not sure exactly why, but I can tell you that the range overall has been pretty dang consistent. So, you know, over 675 miles worth of range if I were to continue this trip on the highway. That's extremely good for a truck this size, this weight, and with this capabilities. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, you know, what do you think of these MPG tests on these newer trucks? You know, the, the fact is the capability of this truck is probably even better than some three quarter ton trucks were just 20 years ago. And the fuel economy is absolutely insane. And it's just, it's really amazing to see what they're able to get out of this three liter LZO diesel engine in these 2023 and newer trucks. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again real soon.